today. In this session, we are going to discuss about solve real life problems involving functions. Solve the following problems. So, for us to solve this problem involving functions, so kailangan intindihin natin mabuti yung ating problem. Para makuha natin yung equation, then masagutan natin yung mga tanong. Is it clear? Let us have number one. Mark charges 100 pesos for encoding work. In addition, he charges 5 pesos per page of printed output. So, meaning, meron ka ng automatic na 100 pesos sa pagtatrabaho ng encode, pag-encode mo, then nad nadadagdagan ng 5 pesos kada print out ng output mo. Okay? So, let us have letter A. Find the function of f of x where x represents the number of pages of printed out. So, let us answer letter A. We are going to represent the function as f of x. So, A. So, we have here f of x is equal to where x represents the number of pages of print out. So, since number of pages of print out, so mamaya na yan. Doon muna tayo sa kita lagi ni Mark na 100 pesos. So, it is equal to 100 pesos. Ito yung uh, original payment kay Mark. Kapag merong print out na ipiprint, so that is 5 pesos. So, multiply pa dun sa kung ilan yung printed out. So, this is x that represent the pages of printed out. So, that is how will you represent it. So, we have f of x is equals to 100 plus 5x. Is it clear? So, si 100, ito yung original na binabayad sa kanya for encoding. Then, plus yung 5x, ito naman yung karagdagan na bayad sa kanya doon sa printed output niya. Next tayo, let us have letter B. How much will Mark charge for 55 pages print output? So, meron na tayong 55 pages output. So, magkano na raw yung kikitain ni Mark? So, for letter B, so, gagamitin din natin tong ating formula. So, we have here the f of x is equals to 100 plus 5 multiplied by 55. That is it. It is equal to 100 plus 5 times 55. So, the answer here is 275. If you add 275 plus the 100, so therefore, ang kikita ni Mark is 375 pesos for 55 pages of printed output. Alright? Ganun lang kasimple. Next tayo, let us have letter C. Sabi niya, how many pages were printed if Mark received a payment of 600 pesos? So, ang given dito is 600 pesos. Meron na siyang bayad na 600 pesos. Ilan daw kaya yung printed out? So, simple lang dito. So, yung f of x mo, papalitan mo na ng 600. Kasi si f of x, that would be the payment na eh. So, we have here 600 is equal to, we have 100 plus 5x. So, ito yung kukuhanin natin, si x naman. So, for us to solve this equation, you are going to transpose 100 to the other side. So, it becomes 600 minus 100. Diba? Positive becomes negative. is equals to 5x. Then, just solve. 600 minus 100, that is 500, equals to 5x. Then, divide both sides by 5. By 5, cancel 5. So, what is x? 500 divided by 5. The answer is what? We have equal to 100. So, therefore, 100 pages. Alright? 100 pages ang printed out niya doon sa uh, 600 pesos na kita niya. Is it clear? So, that is for number 1. Let us have another example. Number 2. A proposed tricycle fare would charge 25 pesos for the first 4 kilometer of the traveled and 5 pesos for each additional kilometer over the proposal fare. So, meaning dito, yung first 4 kilometers, kahit hindi mo maubos yung 4 first kilometer mo, meron ka ng charge na 25 pesos. Then, additional 5 pesos doon sa additional na 4 kilometers. So, how will you represent it? So, let us have letter A. Let us answer. Find the fair function of f of x where x represent the number of kilometer traveled. 
So, you have here f of x is equal to, so, ang fixed amount natin is 25 pesos. Okay? So, since meron ditong condition na first 4 kilometers, so, plus natin, so, magka-additional daw ng 5, pe, 5 pesos each kilometer. So, 5 times, first 4 kilometers, ha? so, your, yung first 4 kilometers, you will represent it as x minus 4. Okay? Why x minus 4? Kasi meaning dito, kaya x minus 4, kapag ikaw ay nag-substitute ng number dyan, halimbawa 5. So, you have here 5, 5 first 5 kilometers, so 5 minus 4 magiging 1. So, madadagdagan lang ng 1 kilometer, so plus 5 yon. Kaya, depende dito, halimbawa dito nakalagay first 5 kilometers, ang gagamitin mo dito is x minus 5. Okay, dun sa kanyang condition ha, kapag ganoon, na meron kang, meron kang condition na um, hanggang dito lang yung limit na 25 pesos. So, kailangan siya, ganito siya i-represent as x minus doon sa given limit niya. Is it clear? Laging ganun ha, laging ganun. So, we have here 25 plus 5 times x minus 4. We are going to simplify this one. Just copy 25 plus... Distribute 5 times x, that is 5x. Then 5 times negative 4, the answer is negative 20. Then we are going to um, combine like terms. So you have your 5x, then 25 minus 20, the answer is minus 5. So this is your function. So ganyan siya kapag merong condition agad. May condition siya na ganito lang kalaki yung nasasakop nitong bayad na to. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have letter B. Sabi niya, how much is the proposed fare for the distance of 2 km? So, since hindi niya na, 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 na ubus yung 4 km, mababawasan ba yung 25 pesos? Hindi. So, therefore, ang ibabayad niya dito is 25 pesos pa rin. Is it clear? Kahit 1 km lang yung tinravel mo, or hanggang 3 km lang, or hanggang 4 km, 25 pesos pa rin ang babayaran mo. Naintindihan? Next tayo, let us have letter C. How much is the proposed fare for the distance of 50 km? Letter C. So, paano daw kapag 50 km? So, ito na yung gagamitin natin. So, we have here f of x is equals to 5x minus 5. So, f of, ang x natin is 50 km, is equal to 5 times 50, then minus 5. Then, we are going to multiply. So, 5 times 50, the answer is 250. Then, minus 5. Then, 250 minus 5. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is 245 pesos would be the, the fare if we have the distance of 50 km. Is it clear? So, that is it. So, ganun kapag merong condition ha. Kapag may condition. Ha, halimbawa, ang first 3 kilometers, ang gagawin mo dito, uh, 5 multiplied by x minus 3. Is it clear? So, let us have another example. Number 3. A proposed LRT fare would charge 18 pesos for the first 4 stations and 5 pesos for each additional stations over the proposed fare. So, ito parang katulad ng number 2 natin. So, let us have letter A. Find the function of f of x where x represents the number of the station. So, let us have letter A. So, for us to have the function, so you have here f of x is equal to so, yung charges natin, kahit anong hanggang 4 stations tayo, we have 18 pesos. So, 18 pesos or 18 na lang. Uh, 18. Then, additional fee every. Additional fee uh, of 5 pesos. So, 5 multiplied by the first 4. So, x minus 4. So, that is it. Then, we are going to distribute. Okay? So, it is equal to 18 plus 5 times x. We have here 5x. 5 times negative 4. The answer is negative 20. Then, we have here, just copy 5x. Then, um, combine 18 minus 20. The answer is negative 2. So, this is your working function. That is it.
Okay? Next tayo. Let us have letter B. Since we have now your working function, we can now answer letter B. Find the proposed fare for 15 station. So, for us to find the 50, uh, the fare for 15 station, substitute na lang natin do sa given na, sa ating function. So, we have f of 15 is equal to 5 times 15 minus 2. So, 5 times 15, we have here 75 minus 2. So, the answer here is 75 minus 2. The answer is 73 pesos. So, that is it. That is for f of 15 station. How about for now letter C? We have 20 station. So, just substitute f of 20 is equal to 5 times 20 minus 2. Is equal to 5 times 20. The answer is 100 minus 2. So, the answer here is uh -huh, 98 pesos for the fa for 20 station. That is it. So, ganun lang kasimple. Kapag uh, merong condition. So, kung ano yung condition dito, ilagay mo dyan as x minus. Alright? Then, um, so for the working equation, just combine like terms, then that would be your function. After you have it your function, we can now solve the problem by substituting the given to your given functions. Is it clear? Let us have the last, uh, last two more examples. Number four. A network charges 450 pesos monthly cable connection fee plus 130 pesos for each of pay-per-view event regardless of a full hour or a fraction of an hour. So, meaning dito, so meron na silang monthly bill lagi na 450 pesos. Fix na yon monthly. Then, mag a lang sila ng 130 pesos per pay-per-view nila. So, sabi dito, regardless of full hour of a fraction. So, meaning kahit hindi sila makaisang oras or magkaroon man ng fraction siyon, so, magiging na siyang a full number. So, ganun yung mangyayari sa kanya. So, halimbawa, naka 1 hour and 20 minutes siya, counted na yun as 2 hours. Right? So, let us have letter A. Find the payment functions f of x where x represents the number of pay-per-view. So, let us have letter A. So, for the function, we have here f of x is equal to um, original payment natin. We have 450 pesos. So, ito na yon fixed amount na to. So, kapag tayo nag-pay-per-view plus 130 pesos times x. So, ganyan lang. So, 130 pesos times x lang. So, multiply lang dito kung ilan yung uh, oras ng pagpa-pay-per-view mo. Then, multiply lang sa 130 pesos then add mo lang sa 450 pesos. So that is for number 4. So this is for your function. Ayun na. This is your function na. Ganyan lang siya ka simple. So kaibit, ito yung parang number 1 natin kanina. Ano? So let us have letter B naman. What is the bill of the customer who watch 25 hours of pay-per-view? So 25 hours of pay-per-view, therefore we have here F of 25 is equal to 450 plus 130 multiplied by ang x mo, it becomes 25. So, that is it. Then, we have here 450 plus 130 times 25. So, 130 times 25, the answer here is 3,250. Then, just add it to 400. 50. Therefore, ang F of 25 natin, 25 hours is 3,000, ah, sorry, ah, tama, 3,700, okay, pesos. So, yan yung babayaran niya kung siya ay nanood ng 25 hours pay-per-view. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have letter C. For letter C naman, sabi niya, what is the bill for the customer who watch 0.5? Since regardless, sabi niya, regardless of the full hour or a fraction of an hour, so compute na yun as 1. So, kung 0 point, 0 0.5 na siya, compute na siya as 1 hour na. Alright? So, therefore, we have here F of 1 na is equal to 450 plus 130 times 1. So, 450 plus 130, we have here... Um, 
580 pesos. So, ito yung bill na babayaran mo. Is it clear? So, that is how will you solve for number 4. Let us have the last example. Number 5. A network costs 1,500 pesos a month, which also includes 15 gigabytes of data monthly. It charges 50 pesos for each additional gigabytes usage. Find the monthly cost incurred if the owner used 45 gigabytes of data in a month. So, may condition ulit tayo dito. So, magkakaroon tayo ng X minus. Bakit may condition? Kasi, meron ditong uh, 15 gigabytes na includes. Then, paano daw kapag 45 kilo, uh, gigabytes? So, meron kang um, condition na paano kapag lumagpas ng 15 gigabytes? Diba? So, kapag ganyan, may condition tayo. Let us have the function. So, we have here F of X for the cost to. So, meron ka ng 1,500 pesos fix, then additional of, additional payment of 50 pesos every gig na madadagdag kay 15 gig. So, we have x minus 15. So, this would be your working function. So, we are going to distribute this one para makuha natin yung mas mababang working function plus 50 times x, that is 50x. Then, we have here 50 times 15. The answer is 750. Then, combine. So, we have here 50x, 1,500 minus 750 is plus 750. So, that is it. This is your working function now. So, for us to find the 45 gigabyte usage for the month, so, we have here f of 45 is equal to 50 multiplied by 45 plus 750. Okay? 50 times 45, the answer is 2,250 plus 750. Then, just add. So, therefore, kapag 45 gigabytes yung inyong na-consume within the month, ang babayaran ninyo is 3,000 pesos. 2,250 plus 3,750, the answer is 3,000 pesos. So, that is how will you solve um, solving problems involving functions. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this day. And that's all for today. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye!